Hi there, I'm Jeb Spaulding. I'm the Chancellor of the Vermont State Colleges System, and I want to welcome you to Higher Education Matters. Uh, monthly, we record a new program and have it distributed across the state on various cable access channels. I want to thank Orca and Montpelier for helping us produce this show. Uh, it is intended to educate students, parents, grandparents, community members on opportunities and issues in higher education. In particular, we focus on uh, issues and opportunities within the Vermont State Colleges system, uh, and those would be Community College of Vermont, Castleton University, Northern Vermont University with campuses in Johnson and Linden, and that's a transitional process from Johnson State College and Linden State College into an exciting new Northern Vermont University starting on July 1, and Vermont Technical College as well. Uh, we also invite uh, guests that are not part of the Vermont State College system to talk about affordability or other higher education matters that people would be interested in. So I thank you for tuning in. Uh, and today we have a very interesting program about uh, something called early college and dual enrollment. Now these are very creative, innovative programs in Vermont that allow high school students to earn college credit while they're in high school. Every high school student has an opportunity to take two college courses in their junior or senior year of high school. Uh, and those are offered at all of our Vermont State Colleges. Uh, Community College of Vermont has 12 locations around the state, online capacity, and then Johnson, Linden, Vermont Tech, Castleton all offer those programs as well, as do many other independent colleges. So it's a great program for students. People are often talking about, well, it's expensive to go to college, how can we afford this? With dual enrollment and uh, early college, you could conceivably, at the year you normally graduate from your high school and do graduate from your high school, the next year be well into your sophomore year of college. So if you were pursuing an associate's degree, that would be like getting a 50% break on your college tuition, or a four-year degree, a 25% break plus. So it's a very innovative program and exciting program, and we have two students with us today that participate in these programs. And I want to introduce Sophia Blanchard from Windsor, who has taken both dual enrollment and is now an early college student at the Upper Valley Community College of Vermont location. And we have Josh Gagne, who is a student uh, from Bakersfield, Enosburg High School that went through the uh, early college program at Johnson uh, and then is now in his second year. I'm curious just to start with, since you know, you're into your second year of early college, how did you find out about the program, Josh? Well, I heard about it from like a kids that were talking about it at school, they heard about it from other kids that were doing it, and uh, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to get a jump start on my college education, and I felt like I completed my high school education. I didn't have, I only had one credit for my senior year, so I didn't really want to waste a year, and I wanted to get a jump start, so that's why I did it. And how did you find out, you know, like how to get enrolled in it? And um, you know? I went and first I talked to my guidance counselor, and I let her know that I wanted to do it, and she informed me what it exactly was. And uh, then I got in contact with Johnson State College and talked to Joy Lyon up there, and she uh, helped me get started on the whole process. I'm, I'm curious, was it intimidating to go, you know, in your senior year of high school into you know, a college setting? Because in your case, I assume you're going to college uh, on the Johnson State College campus. Right. And do you commute or do you, do you live there? I commuted every day. And, okay. Uh, for the full two semesters I, that I was in early college, uh, I... So again, what, what, was it scary and intimidating it, it or did you fit it, right in? It wasn't scary or intimidating. Uh, I had a lot of friends that I made through the early college program that were from my area, like uh, surrounding high schools. So I had people to talk to, you know, mm -hmm. and made more and more friends as I was there. So it fed in, I fit in really nicely and okay. it was... Really. So did you uh, graduate from Enosburg High School and get your first year of college credit at the same time? Yes, I did. And I now, did. now you're in your second, second year? Second year of college and first so, year. Right. So you're, 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 you're in your sophomore year, even though you're just one year out of right. high school. Right. Pretty amazing. Sophia, how did you find out about, you've been through both the dual enrollment and the early college program. So I guess the dual enrollment comes first, right? So. Yeah. Um, my junior year of high school, my parents went to a meeting where um, a CCV member came and talked to them about the dual enrollment program. Um, my mother got in contact with the college and we thought it'd be a good fit for my sister and I. Um, I went to 
I did dual enrollment my entire junior year, and I did a class each semester. And then senior year, I we learned about the early college program, and we were like, well, we've been introduced slowly into the program, and um, it was just the logical next right. step. Right. So did you find out, out about these opportunities on your own, or did the counselors say, hey, this is something, you know, you and your sister are like look like you, you're <laughs> likely candidates to participate in, in dual enrollment? Uh, the counselors were at the meeting, and okay. afterwards they offered to help um, parents right. um, and talk about the program. So um, I, we didn't talk much. A lot of it went through my parents, and my mother right. really pushed it and was like, this is a brilliant idea. I mean, it's tuition free. It's, right. It's, it was just a very good opportunity for us. So you would normally be, Sophia, I think, and in, in are in some ways, it's, it's like concurrent, right? You're still in your senior year of high school. Right. Uh, and you have already earned, previous to your senior year, like in your junior year, mm -hmm. two or six credits. So succeeded in taking two courses, college right. courses, that courses. can be used for your college track. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you get to this May and you graduate, or June when you graduate from high school, you will have completed your first year of college right. and two additional courses. So normally when you would be starting college, you would already be well into your sophomore year. Oh yeah. That's got to be a pretty good savings. And again, the, 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 it's tuition free, right? Yeah. Correct. To you. Correct. So, you know, if people are thinking about ways they can make college affordable, that's a pretty good way to do it. Oh yes. Um, it's it's a very good start for people, and it, it gets you into the college system um, while you're still young, especially yeah. the dual enrollment program. It gets you used to it, and it helps you to understand what it's like and acclimate to the college community. So I'm going to come back to ask a few more questions, but I should say right now, uh, it is a great program. If you're interested, if you're watching and you're interested, you could either go to the Vermont State College's webpage, Vermont State or vsc.edu, uh, you can uh, go directly to one of the colleges, in this case, Johnson, where, where Josh goes, or Community College of Vermont, where Sophia goes, or uh, any other, other colleges can help you, and your counselors at, the, at your high schools could probably help as well. So there are ways, if people are interested, they can, they can get the information pretty easily. Were you intimidated being in classes with college students when you were, I don't know, which were 17 years old? Um, I, my first year, actually, for dual enrollment, I did it online. Okay. So I was. Well, that's still, a good opportunity too. Yeah, I was still in um, my high school classes with my high school friends. My when I started early college, I decided that I wanted to do more in-person classes, and I wasn't as interested in the online. Right. So I went in, and there were quite a few other dual enrollment students from other schools. So a lot of them were my age, going through the same things as I was, and I made fast friends with a lot of people. Okay. So in your case, are you taking uh, you know, a full four or five courses in the fall and then in the spring semester too? Yes, I am. Okay, and so it's, is it during the day or day and night or how does it um, work? For I usually work my classes around my work. Um, I, or work my work schedule around my right. classes. Right. And um, I do both morning, middle of the day and night. They have them at all times, so it's very convenient for right. me to work around with it and such. So I'm curious with, with uh, both of you uh, and your experiences. Now, Josh didn't do dual enrollment, so let's just take early college. Do you still maintain some connections to your home high school, or is it like you're done uh, and you know, like you, you can't play on the sports teams anymore if you wanted to, or the drama club, or whatever it is? I'm so. Why well, we start with, with Josh and then go to Sophia? While uh, you're still, you're technically still in high school while you're doing early college, I'm, I'm done now, obviously. Right. Yeah. But uh, uh, when it, last year when I was in college, commuting, going every day, full time, you know, I could still participate in uh, all the sports, uh, could have go, gone to the prom and all that. And uh, if it, you're not disconnected if you don't want to be. You can go, right. go to your high school every day if you want to and participate right. in activities at the high school. Um, it's not... I imagine some do and not, some don't. You're right. So. Some do, some don't. I didn't take part so much, but right. uh, I know a lot of people that did and still played all the sports. And uh, uh, you're not disconnected if you don't want to miss your senior year. So right. you can get the college credits, still get uh, a jump start on your education, but 
You still get to have your senior year of high school if you really want to. Did you go to graduation at the Unisburg? Yes, I did. You did, yeah. okay. I had a few Great. buddies I wanted to walk with. So. Right, that's good. Excellent. Sophia, how about yourself? Um, I didn't really get involved in many of the classes, but I did go to my prom. Right. Uh, I went. I go to a lot of the dances and such. Right. Um, I plan to go to my graduation in June. Right. And... Um, if I wanted to, a lot of my um, my theater teacher especially wanted me to continue to take theater there. I opted out of that, but right. I could have if I. So I guess the the point for the viewers is uh, you go either way, but you're not necessarily severing all your connections with your home high school when you do early college. Right. Right. I mean, is it is it like uh, is it is the workload sufficiently or or significantly? heavier or different than when, when you were a high school student? Why don't we start with you, Sophia? Um, it's pretty similar. It's not as bad. It's much easier, like I said, to work around my work schedule because um, you have, for me at least, I take, um, you have a class once a week, so um, I don't have to, um, and it's only a few hours of right. class, right. so I also have time to work right. or study and such and the workload is not too right. much different right. from my high school. So in your dual enrollment, do you remember what courses you took online, just out of curiosity? Uh, online I took psychology and I took English comp. That's great. And, w and are you enrolled in a, a particular program now, uh, an associate's degree track at the Community College of Vermont or just uh, individual courses or, or how does that work for you in your early college year? At the, well, this last semester I was taking mostly core classes okay. just to get things figured out because I wasn't quite sure where I wanted to be. Um, this semester I plan to take a phlebotomy course and I'm kind of leaning towards going into something in the medical field. Okay, great. Huh. Well, you'll be well down the road on that. And how about you, Josh? You know, where, um, where, where are you headed? Uh, I'm, I'm getting a business administration or management degree and uh, the workload was uh, not much of a change for me. Uh, it was actually, I figured, a little bit easier because you're around people I wanted to learn. In high school, I felt like I didn't really want to be there anymore because the kids, they kind of mess around, you know, and it was easier to learn in Johnson and actually get something out of my senior year. So I figured the workload wasn't that bad, and you could schedule around what you're doing to, to get your stuff done. So okay. it was pretty lenient. And there were support groups if you had problems and... Uh, people that would help you, you know, tutors if you really needed it. But. And when you're in your early college year, which you're not anymore, that was not last anymore. year for right. you, did you mainly uh, associate with other early college students or are you associating with the, the regular student body? Well, uh, it was it's your choice. The teachers don't tell, say if you're early college or not, so you right. can just fit right in with everybody and uh, just mingle in the crowd and that's basically what I did. I, I knew a lot of people that were there that right. were sophomores already and stuff. Okay. So uh, kind of just fit in and talk to everybody. Right. But other early college students you had obviously had another different connection with right. because you had support groups with them and meetings with them. So you knew each other a little better. Right. So you know what I've been told by the some of the faculty at both community college and at, at Johnson and, and the other colleges as well is that uh, you know, having the early college students actually lends a certain vitality to the classes and they're generally motivated students and uh, it, it sort of lifts the whole class, which, which is a great thing. Do, and you may not know the answer to this, Josh, but do most of the students that are in their early college and let's say or do early college at Johnson, and again, it's available at Castleton and Linden and all over the place within the state college system, Vermont Technical College, uh, but do they generally stay at Johnson and continue on there or go somewhere else or half and half? Or uh, I want to know the exact number, but uh, I'd say quite a few of them stay or at least stay an extra year just to figure out what they want to do. And uh, by leaving, a little downside to the early college is by leaving, you technically are a freshman in another college if you transfer. So if right. you stay at Johnson another year, you're a sophomore in that college, right. and you'll be a junior in the college if you transfer that right. following year. Right. So right. I think a lot of people do that just yeah. for a way around. Right. But uh, yeah. it, a lot of people stay there, and I plan on staying there. I know somebody else that get, got their, or getting their associate's degree this year from having an early college year, and then this year's. 
you know, we were trying to think of where we'd met before, and I don't know if it was here, but I went to the uh, Johnson Early College sort of graduation dinner or whatever it was All right, yes, last okay, year. I don't know if you were there for that. Yeah, I was. But yeah, and I, it, was, it was a lot of fun talking to some of the different students. And right, I saw students, there were a couple that were going up to uh, UMaine, right. Orono, you know, and there were others that were staying. So <clears throat> for students or parents or you know, relatives that are watching, wondering whether this might be the, a, a good opportunity for students, it can go either way. Right. Many, many do stay on the, where they are and some decide to go elsewhere and they find that it actually helps their their, you know, their college application to have been completed college courses and done okay yeah, and yeah. when they apply to go somewhere else. And it's, uh, it's, it's nice staying at Johnson because uh, I'm not sure if everybody gets it, but uh, I'm pretty sure if you do good in the early college program at Johnson, you get a scholarship. So okay. you get some more money off your tuition for the following years that you're there is up till when you're, you're done your four-year degree. So right. That's also another little perk that okay. I like about Johnson. So. All right. And I'm curious, in, in your situation, Sophia, uh, do you uh, get a chance to interact with other early college students, or do you not even notice the difference between who's early college and who isn't early college? Oh, I mean, a lot of them, we're very open about being early college. I mean, yeah. if you really get to talking to someone, that's often a good conversation starter. Um, I find that we are pretty mixed. I mean, I do, I did meet a lot of them, and it was, it made it much easier for me to acclimate into the... Um, system and right. such, knowing that other people were in the same situation as I was, but oh, I mean. I mean, you must be in pretty diverse classes, though. And, and by this, I mean some definite adult students and some that are your age and everything in between, probably, right? Oh yeah. Oh. And you enjoy that? I I love it. It gives you a very you get a lot of um, sides to the college right. programs. Well, that's good. And, and are you planning to, uh, or you may not know the answer to this since you're still in the middle of your early college year, but are you planning to stay at community college or go to another state college or go out of state, or are you still trying to figure that out? Um, I really want to do an ultrasound technician program. Um, I'm not quite sure where I'll be going yet. Um, I'm still kind of figuring it out a little bit. Um, I know since it's, it's very easy to transfer credits mm -hmm. from CCV, um, it's very convenient that I have the ability to go to another college and still have these credits. Right. So if there were some uh, students or parents or friends out there and they were wondering whether this was a good opportunity, you know, what would you tell them about your early college experience, Josh? Uh, it's a great opportunity and uh, I want to change it. Uh, you get so far ahead by taking this year, and it really matures you a little earlier, and you get a jump start. I, I look at it this way. By doing a program that Johnson offers, a 4 plus 1 program, I started a year early, plus I'm getting a year taken off my master's when I go to Clarkson. I'm going to be getting my master's degree by when people that were in my s senior class are getting their bachelor's. So it, it, really, it really pushes you and makes you uh, look into what you're going to be and I like the way of how it was structured and how so it was you, around the You already know you're now. going on to a master's degree yeah. program, but you're only I, in I your sophomore it. year. I love it. I love is that right? And okay. I know what I want to do. So Nice. And what, you know, where, where are you hoping to end up once you get your master's degree? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I got sugaring uh, business, but uh, I wouldn't mind expanding that or opening a bottling business for syrup. So, okay. Uh, just to you know, make the market a little bigger for sugaring because... Uh, market's going down a little bit due to too much syrup and right. too much syrup being shipped out of the states. So right. I'd like to open my own bottling facility. Okay. Well, that's uh, hopefully the uh, the education you're getting will will help you with well, that because yes. everything is more complicated these days. Yeah. And you know it's uh, it's starting to be the sugaring kind of time of season time of year around here. Yeah. And are you going to be sugaring this this spring? Oh yeah. Uh, today the sap's running. It's 45 degrees today and. Uh, starting to come in but it's right. a little early yet so right. don't know if we'll be making syrup today right. but at least get right. systems yeah. working so right and this program being recorded it might be below zero when somebody's actually watching this but right. the day we're recording we're, it is yes. after all that cold weather we had uh, right. we're now in a in a real warm stretch right. for, for a little while anyway right. so but that's great and you're going to be able to actually maintain your 
college courses while yes. you're, you're sugaring? I, I scheduled last year when I was in early college doing the early college program. I, uh, my spring semester, I moved it around, so I had a couple right. days or afternoons off when right. the SAP was running the most. So, right. like I said, it's really lenient and uh, it works around the student. Right. And your, okay. your advisors at the school help you with that, right. too. So, very supportive. So, you know, one thing I'm thinking is with dual enrollment early college, uh, it really helps from a financial perspective because you're you're actually getting you know years of college courses and years of college done tuition free. It speeds up the process so you'll have your college degree sooner, which will allow you to be you know working in in a, in a field uh, or starting your own business sooner. I'm also wondering whether you know how it plays in terms of uh, having you. Uh, stimulated and, and busy in, in your senior year. I mean, I don't know. If, I don't know if it does make a difference or not. So I'm asking the question. I mean, I have two daughters that went to high school here in Vermont, and a lot of their friends in their senior year of high school were kind of like almost done with their courses and were not really totally engaged. And I'm wondering whether you see. Let's start with you, Sophia. See it as a way to, you know, have have somebody really make the most of their senior year where they're not disengaged and just sort of coasting for a year. Um, I found myself very motivated to do more because it also got me credits towards college. So while I did get the credits towards my high school, I currently only have one class left. That I, have, I only have one credit left that I need for high school. Right. And um, I continued to, I wanted to do more so that I could go further into the college aspect of things. Well, that's the point, I guess, isn't it? If you only had one credit left to do in high school, you might be kind of like coasting this, this spring semester right. as opposed to now you have motivation to actually take advantage of the, the, the courses and the opportunities that are there. How about you, Josh? And, um, and, and think about you and your friends, too, and what your experience might have been uh, at Enosburg, which is small but fine school. Right. And, uh, um, I, I figured uh, that the jump start was way better than coasting for a year. In, in school and I, I find it that it was kind of a, a waste for uh, the senior year because with the schooling the way it was set up now it's all based on proficiencies and stuff at Enosburg but uh, when I was there it was just based on credits and almost every high schooler that never failed a class and got good grades and did all their classes they were supposed to only had one credit they have to get their senior year right. and for that one credit it wasn't a hard course load so they're doing a lot of electives because you had to have a full course or like a close to a full course at the school so they're taking classes that they didn't need and uh, time that could have been put into college which I wanted to get a jump start on it so it, the missing out on high school year versus going to college it was a better choice to go to college that's okay. for sure. So I've got time for a couple more questions but I just want to say again for the viewers that if you want to find out more about dual enrollment and early college, you can go to the Vermont State College System website, which is vsc.edu, and you can navigate around and find it. Or you could go to any one of the colleges within colleges or universities within the state college system. Or you should be able to see your, your school counselors as well to help you out. And that's my next question. I mean, did you find your high schools? Now, you're Windsor High School, right? Yes. Are they supportive of you doing this or trying to convince you not to do it? And I'll ask you the same question in a minute, Josh. Uh, they were fairly supportive since th they will still be getting my, um, since I gra I'm technically graduating from there, they'll yeah. still be getting the credit for me graduating. Okay. But I'll also be going forward and okay. um, I'll have a better start right. in the college system. So they're, they're, they didn't try to put up you know, roadblocks or anything like that? They're, oh no, they were no. amazing. They gave us a lot of information. Right. Actually, they were the ones who set up the initial meeting between the college and the high right. school. Right. Well, for us, it was a, my parents. But right. They also do it for students as well. That's great. Good to know. How about you, Josh? For um, for me, I found out on my own. Found out about it on my own, and uh, I talked to my guidance counselor. And uh, at first, we were on different ideas on it because uh, I, I was a little. I goofed off a little bit in high school, but it was because I was bored. I wasn't didn't have enough to do, and uh, by talking to her and talking about it, I, I really found that I, I was just done with high school and needed right. to move on. So uh, she was very supportive and she helped me set up meetings and contacted the school. So it was, uh, she was helped a lot, guidance counselors helped a lot. Right. 
since then, they've been holding meetings at the school about it, and t parents come in and stuff. And I've actually gone to the meetings and talked with Johnson at the meetings. So it was, uh, I think they're more introducing it to students okay. now than they okay. did when I was there. You know, you, you, you raised a good point there that made me think of something. And uh, back when my hair wasn't as gray, I used to be involved with the early college program at Vermont Technical College. It's called the Vermont Academy of Science and Technology. And people had this idea that, you know, the, the VAST program was for kids that, you know, were like really advanced and, you know, geniuses in math and science and technology. But what I found was it was often students that, you know, really were just not fitting in. And they were, like you said, just done with high school. And they were just, Good. they weren't, it wasn't like that they were college geniuses. They just weren't engaged. Right. And, 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 and just getting into that weren't. different setting allowed them to actually get motivated and get engaged. So right. that's they, a good thing for people to know. They were bored with the high school yeah. scene. They were sick of, like for me, I was, uh, the maturity level in high school was not where I wanted to be. And right. I was just ready to be out of there, so. Right, okay. So that's why I took the route instead. I was, I was gonna do my English credit over the summer and just get my diploma and then go to college anyways. But I figured that was a better, right. better route. So. Right. Okay, so, you know, Sophia, what should this, the, the, the folks that are watching, you know, take away from this meeting about whether they should think about this and, or not think about it? Honestly, I think that a lot of people do not know about the program and I feel like it needs to be, um, and I feel like people need to know that it's an amazing program for all kinds of people. Um, I did all right in my classes, but I didn't do the best and um, I feel like the early college really matured me and made me want to um, go further right. and do more than I initially wanted to do. Did it give you confidence in terms of thinking, hey, I can do this, I could go to college, I could go to get my master's degree that, you know, that I have a little bit more, you know, confidence that I can do, do college? I actually, it really did. My, actually, me and my advisor were just talking about that the other day when I had my meeting about classes. Um, I, it really made me feel better about being able to do it because I never thought I would like actually be really in the college it kind of felt like it was something I had to do but now it feels like something I want to do. Well that's great I think we ought to finish it right there. Sophia Blanchard from Windsor, uh, early college student at uh, Community College of Vermont in the Upper Valley in Wilder and Josh Gagne, a, a sophomore at, at Johnson State College one year after you should have been, a, you should be in your freshman year, but you're, you're into your sophomore year. I'm really glad you were able to share this exciting opportunity for students in Vermont. Again, if you want to find out more, to go to vsc.edu. I want to thank all the viewers for tuning in to Higher Education Matters. Uh, we'll be recording another program in the next month. I want to thank Orca for pro providing the opportunity. Uh, and if there's anything we can do to help in any college matters, please get in touch.